Alrighty, hello everybody, it's me, the Invisible Gunslinger number one. Hello. Now, I just came off of uh, doing my package video, and I decided that I might as well make another video, uh, showcasing off something that I have actually really gotten into in the last, uh, about a eh, month or so. And, oh my god, my nose is itchy. Uh, anyway, I can't do a video unless my nose is itchy, of course, it, it adds the excitement. Yeah, it's so fucking itchy. Restrain yourself, restrain yourself, restrain yourself. Anyway, oh my god. Anyway, uh, perler beads is the topic of today. I don't know if I told you that, but uh, yeah, the perler beads are what I've been getting into in the last month or so. Oh my fucking god, my nose. Um, but yeah, perler beads are essentially these little tiny, uh, like, whoa. They're just little plastic colorful beads, and uh, you can use... Uh, essentially use them, or place them, as some people would call it, place them on pegboards and melt them together by putting uh, wax paper on top and then ironing it for about eh, 30 seconds, makes it nice and, uh, oh my fucking god, my nose, uh, makes it nice and melted together, and I decided, you know what, I might as well show off uh, some things that I've made with uh, the perler beads. Oh, fucking God, my nose, my nose, my nose, my nose! Oh my God! I want to I want to shove the beads into my nose because it's so fucking itchy! Why? Jesus Christ. But anyway, I'll get into it. I'll just, I'll rush into it so I can finally just stop the video and itch my nose all I want. Anyway, uh, first item on the list was this thingy, this little heart that I made because, uh, I, when I first got the beads, I had a whole bunch of white and I wasn't exactly sure how well I would be ironing it, so I decided, yeah, you know what, I'll just put together a, a little heart shape because uh, one of the pegboards that they originally gave me was in the shape of a heart, which was essentially, which was this big, by the way. So good fucking luck making anything but a heart with uh, you know that pegboard. All the other pegboards are a square, and you can actually go look them up and see how big they are. They're about, eh, I'd have to say, maybe six, seven inches by seven inches or something like that fairly large. It can fit maybe like 60 beads by 60 beads or something like that. Uh, and you can link them together. So if you want to make something really fucking huge, you can link like 10 of them together to make something big. But, uh, yeah, I wasn't exactly sure how well the ironing would go. So I just threw together this little heart because I have like five times more white than any other color. So if I fucked it up, uh, you know, I wouldn't waste any valuable color. If I hit the mic, by the way, I'm sorry, I'm just scratching my nose because it's so fucking itchy. But uh, you can see I didn't really iron this for a very long time because there's big gaping holes in it. Usually, if you iron it for a long time, it'll... Because you're essentially melting plastic, everybody. So uh, I didn't quite melt the plastic together enough to the point where uh, it's a solid shape. And I wouldn't really recommend that because by the time you actually do that, it's like super duper fucking thin. I mean, that's pretty damn thin, but compared to some of the other things that I'll show you, this is like the thickest thing yet. So that was the first thing that I made. The second thing that I made was this little guy. Behold, it's the fucking Black Mage from Final Fantasy 1. Isn't that sweet? I've named him Hawkeye. Look at him. He's just adorable. You can see in his eye, by the way, uh, a bead that did not get fully melted right there. So uh, I thought I'd point out that shortcoming. But aside from that, he turned out really fucking nice. Look at that. He's actually one of my favorite beads to mess around with because I can do this. I can just go, hey, how you guys doing? Hey, yeah, all right. Oh, my fucking God. Look at that. It's Hawkeye. He's adorable. Uh, yeah, what's that? Oh, yeah. Pa fucking talking about this, that, and the other. And blah, 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 blah. Oh, my fucking God. There he is. Look at that. He's so fucking cute. So that's the second thing that I made. Very happy with that. The third thing that I made is actually the biggest thing that I've made uh, to date. So let me showcase that. Whee! There it is. Oh, whoop. of course there's nothing else but this one. No, nothing else is holding it up. Oh, wait, my arm's getting tired. Uh, e ah, there he is. It's the fishing boo from Super Mario World. Isn't that fun? Look at that. I'm particularly happy on the, uh, the work I did on his rod. And by the way, I put some uh, clear beads along the top to give it a little bit more stability. And I made the uh, the string out of actual string because I figured if I made it out of beads, I wouldn't be able to adjust the length and the beads might break if it's that, uh, you know, taut. I mean, essentially it is melted plastic, but, you know, what if I want to make the string longer? You know, what if I really want to dangle it? What if, what I, what if I just want to go like, 
you know, make it really long, like that. What if? So I just made it out of string. So I'm pretty with it. I'm pretty damn happy with that. So that was the third thing that I made. The next ones that I made, I'm actually, I was actually kind of getting into the, uh, my white phase, as I'll call it. Basically, I was just trying to get rid of as much white as I could, because I had so fucking much of it. So I, uh, the next couple ones are, or pretty much all of the ones I'm going to show you from now on are going to have, like, massive amount of white in it, or as much as I could manage. Uh, the colors that you're actually probably going to run out of first are black and red. Black you use in pretty much everything, especially if you're going with pixel art. So I'd order a lot of fucking black if I was you. But I made this guy. Look at that. I made uh, red from Pokemon. And actually, I also made Pikachu from uh, yellow. Look at that. So it's kind of like uh, Pokemon yellow right there. It's just falling along. Isn't that nice? It's a good thing I have rubber gloves on if I'm handling Pikachu. He turned out very nice. I'm very happy with him. And especially with this guy. With, uh, fucking red, ash, whatever you want to call him. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Very nice. You can sit down there. And, uh, these next two that I made, I actually made for a friend of mine who just moved into an apartment with her girlfriend. And they really liked a certain Pokemon, so I decided, you know what, I'll look up a pixelated version of that for them, and I'll make it for them. So, and I did. So I made, uh, Scrafty, or Scrafty from Pokemon, one of the newer generations, I actually cannot remember at the moment which generation that's from, and I made the, uh, Evolved form. So I made these two. Isn't that nice? I don't think they watch my videos, so they should not actually, uh, see these as of yet, so that's good. They can sit down there. The next one that I made, these are obviously all trying to get rid of as much white as I could. Uh, I made the Boo from Super Mario World. I wasn't really sure which color I should make his mouth. If I I was debating on whether or not I should make it pink or red or whatever, but I'm, I'm glad that I chose pink. Yeah, very glad. He turned out nice. See? Very nice. And I actually made a counterpart to him, this Boo. So that's nice. I'm actually looking forward to hanging these up on my wall, or like tacking them, or like getting some kind of sticky adhesive and sticking them to my wall. That'll be fun. I actually want to hang the fishing boo from my ceiling, so that'll be even cooler. Next one that I made, I only have three more. Next one I made is uh, the white mage. In fact, let's get Hawkeye in here. So that these two can uh, hug, make up even, kiss kiss on the cheeks and all that. Fantastic. So, it's, I'm glad to see that these two have finally made up, so hooray for them. I have not made any of my other uh, Final Fantasy party yet, uh, mainly because I was running out of red, and I didn't want to make uh, Gun from Final Fantasy because he requires quite a lot of red. So I didn't want to make him quite yet. And I don't think I have enough browns yet to make, uh, or whatever the fucking color is for the Thief in Final Fantasy 1. So that's good. Last two that I made, let me... Uh, Rise. Oh my fucking god, my nose cannot fuck off. Eey, I'm sorry if you guys can hear me scratching it. Uh, probably not. But, uh, I think you saw it in there. But let me rise this fucking nose. Ah, I really want to take care of it. Oh my fucking god, this is terrible. This is the worst. This is like the beginning of my allergies. Holy shit, my allergies have officially begun on camera. Jesus Christ. Anyway. Let's just rise this from the mist. Let's get this video fucking done with so I can go scratch my head off. Ugh, yeah, that sounded bad. Anyway. Wee! Look at that! I made Boshi! Isn't that nifty? I even made him with his little gun! Sweet! I'm very happy with how he turned out. Look at how thin he is, though. That is, like, majorly thin. Jesus Christ. That's awesome. So he can hang out over there. But wait a minute, everybody. Whoa, hold the fucking phone. Hang on a minute. I think a new challenger arises. What is this? No. It can't be. Stare in awe of fucking Hello Kitty. Jumping Jehoshaphat. Brrr. Oh, my. Shoot him, Bashi! Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him! Rrrr. Hello Kitty, no please! Boof, boof, boof! Ah! 
Hawkeye, you are the only one who can save us. Get Hawkeye. Bashi has fallen. No! Hello Kitty thinks that she has won, but no, one man stands in defiance. Hawkeye looks to the skies in defiance, while Hello, Hello Kitty looks down upon him. <laughs> Hawkeye is not afraid, for he knows that he has the support of the Bashi, and maybe even of the Sogren. Who knows? But here, let us have them fight. Hello Kitty thinks she's all that, but not when compared to Hawkeye and fucking Bashi. Oh my god. I don't even know what kind of sound effect that is. Oh my god, my fucking life is so boring. Oh my god, fucking shit. And who emerges victorious? Who is the one that will rise beyond them all? Fucking right. Fantastic. So yeah, that's what I've made with uh, all my little things. I've made Bashi, I've made Hawkeye, I've made Hello Kitty, which that was a cool epic little fight. I made the sound effect a little bit too much. Uh, but I made all of these cool sprites. Every single one of them I absolutely love. If you guys want to start getting into this, I would highly recommend it. Uh, you're going to require quite a lot of patience. Uh, a lot of time consumption, guys. I'm not going to lie to you. All of these probably combined hours took me about 20-something eh, hours. Not counting the sorting, by the way. Oh my god. It took me so fucking long to do the sorting. There's the heart. And there's this guy. So yeah. Ah! Hello Kitty! No! You defiant little bitch! Brrr. I can't do the sound effect that she makes, or whatever the noise is, so, isn't that nifty? That's all my beads. And I will be making other videos. I'll be making other videos just like this one as I go and make uh, more beads. By the way, just going to let you know, if you guys want to actually, uh, oh shit. If you guys want to send me any, uh, Funding, I guess you would say. I actually have my PayPal account set up at the moment. So if you guys feel like donating any uh, monies to me so that I can uh, afford to buy more beads and make more videos like that, you can. Uh, just type in in PayPal invisiblegunslinger1 at gmail.com. And all your money will go to me because I'm a greedy bastard. Obviously. Again, you guys don't have to... Uh, Donate anything, but if you feel like dropping a penny or two, that's perfectly fine. In fact, I can get a thousand beads of one color for only two dollars. So that's pretty fucking cheap. So, again, by the way, don't worry if you guys don't want to donate anything. I'm just saying, okay? So, uh, everybody, until next time, I've been the Invisible Gunslinger. This has been Hawkeye and Boshi and all the rest. And I will talk to you next time. So until then, guys, until then, see ya.